In order to solve a quadratic equation, I want to see if it is possible to factor, and if so, I can use the zero product property. So I'm going to look at the constant term, and I want to see if there are factors of the constant term, in this case 12, which add up to 7. 12 is divisible by 1 and 12, by 2 and 6, 1 and 12 add up to 13, 2 and 6 add up to 8, but it's also divisible by 3 and 4, which do add up to 7, which is what I'm looking for. So it is factorable. So I can rewrite it as a product of one binomial times another. It can be written as x plus 3 and x plus 4. When I multiply them together, I get 0. And you could FOIL to check that if you wanted. But now I'm going to apply what I call the zero products property. I don't just call it that. That's what it's called. Um, that means that either if one thing, if this thing is equal to zero, or if this thing is equal to zero, if two things are multiplied to, together and one of them equals zero, the whole thing is equal to zero. So looking at my first one, I know that x plus 3 is equal to zero if x is equal to negative 3, and that x plus 4 equals zero if x is equal to negative 4. So my two solutions to this are negative 3 and negative 4. And if I plug either of those into the original equation, I will see that it does in fact solve the equation. So we have our solution now, but let me just leave by showing you why this is true. Uh, I'll, I'll show you for negative 3. If I put negative 3 into my original equation, um, that gives me negative 3 squared, which is 9 plus uh, 7 times negative 3, which is a minus 21. And 9 minus 21 is going to give me uh, negative 12. And when I add 12, it is equal to 0. So I can see that that works. And it would also work if I plugged in negative 4. My two solutions here are x could be either negative 3 or negative 4. Thank you.